seriously, I don't even know. I don't even know where this hat came from. This thing is ridiculously not cool. Like, if you want to pick up chicks, this hat is the opposite of that. Ugh. He's solid and he's cool. <laughs> hey, crew. It's that time again. It's time for another field review. Woohoo! Today we will be reviewing. Dum -dum -dum, dum -dum -dum -dum. Sherwood Forest in LaPorte, Indiana. I had the opportunity to play at Sherwood Forest for the Viper VIP Invitational in the spring of 2008. Uh, Josh and I made the professor's team, we loaded up the car, and we trucked, I think it was about 13 hours. It depends on how fast you go and whether the police catch you. Took us about 13 hours and uh, a couple of Red Bulls, but we got there. Set up. Has a great camping area. Um, but we were there all alone. And it was a little creepy because there was pretty much no one around. So we had a bonfire. Me, Snake Devil, Fighting 5 0 from the BT Warrior Forum. And my brother just sitting around in the creepy darkness. Being creepy. That game is a story for another time, but the field itself um, is a story for right now. The field's about, I think it's about a mile long from end to end. I um, don't know how wide it is. Very wooded. Um, a cool ravine on sort of the northwest edge of the field. Uh, the, the whole field's been constructed with a single chainsaw, which I found impressive. Um, I like to do things with only one or two tools and a roll of duct tape, so props to you guys for building that whole field with one chainsaw. It has the second largest castle I've seen besides EMR. Uh, it's a pretty intense castle. It's got some big windows. Um, there's some great footage Tackleberry got of that castle on YouTube. So I think if you YouTube EOD Paintball and look up Viper Game, you, you should be able to uh, check out that castle on there. You'll also see um, that it's been cleared of underbrush in lots of places and they've constructed lots of towers and small houses scattered about the field. The castle's in the southeast corner. The field sort of rises to the northeast, and down the northeast corner there's very dense woods to crawl around in. There's various strong points and access points throughout the field. You have a lot of terrain to work with, a lot of buildings, a lot of options for teams to maneuver around each other, both in daytime and nighttime. I should add that. The field owner's real cool. He brings in um, a pyrotechnics team, at least he did for the Viper event, and I hear he's going to do the same for the Judge Dredd event this year. Um, they set off firecrackers and M80s and all sorts of cool stuff. He also allowed us to play at night, which um, obviously increases liability for him, but is an awesome opportunity. If you've never been in a night game, uh, I highly suggest you try it. Whether you have NVGs or a generator or a flashlight, or you just hold on to the pants of the guy in front of you, get out and play at night just for the experience. That'll be... Night play is like a whole separate video. Um, but he allowed us to play and he sets up torches all over the field especially in the castle. It gives it sort of an Apocalypse Now feeling. It's it's really cool. So if you have the chance hit up... hit up. Um, I know the biggest game that's always advertised is the Judge Dredd game hosted by Viper or I guess written by Viper and hosted by Sherwood. Um, I can go to their go to their website. I'll post the link over there. There's some other games. Um, doo -doo -doo. They have a pump game, Castle Siege, something called Deadlands. I'm sure if you can look up information or go on the forums, you'll find it. Um, but it's definitely a field worth checking out. It was worth a 13-hour drive. I would go back there um, just for another chance to play around. I'm considering the Judge Dread game because it's a great field. So five out of five for the Sherwood Forest in LaPorte, Indiana, and have a nice day. Peace. But he's not cool, is he? Sherwood uh, is a... Uh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, it took us about 13 hours and some caffeine pills, and we got there um, pretty, pretty reasonably, reasonably reasonable.